Hi, welcome to another 100 drawers video. Today, I will be sharing something about invoicing. But before we dive into the content of today's video, let's get back to the basics. Invoice is one of the essential commercial documents for doing business. It itemizes and records a transaction between a seller and a buyer. Generally, an invoice should include the following information so that the buyer knows who and what they are paying for, how much the amount, and what are the payment methods available. If you are an established seller, you might already have a comprehensive system for issuing invoices. But a lot of new sellers are coming onto e-commerce platforms like Shopee, and the platforms most likely do not provide functions for issuing invoices. So I made use of the order report that is downloaded from the seller center, made this Shopee invoice generator, and included it into my previous template. It is available in Excel and Google Sheets. The Excel version will require Office 365, Office 2021, or Excel Online. Check the link in the video description to download. I will first demonstrate how to use this template in general, then demonstrate the different steps between Office 365, Excel Online, and Google Sheets. Check the timestamp if you are onto some specific topics. There are three new tabs added to the template file. Invoice Manual for manually editing. Invoice Auto for automatically generating up to five invoices from the order report. And Data for settings and extracting all the data to generate invoices. When you first downloaded this template, you should be updating the seller information and the terms and conditions to display according to the payment terms such as cash terms or through platforms like Shopee. If you have not noticed already, all of the white cells are editable. On the top left are the general settings for the template. This data count is a formula for data roll count in the order report. It is not meant for editing, so it is shaded in light yellow. Below it is in white color, which means the user can edit it. The order ID sort of ascending or descending will be applied to the order ID list at the bottom. This list of order IDs is used in the drop-down list for data validation in the invoice template. Then, there are three number formats for invoice number, phone number, and date used in the invoice. This list of platforms is from the Terms and Conditions section. On the right is the invoice details for generating invoices in the Invoice Auto tab. No action is required here. The invoice manual is a basic invoice template, which users can manually key in the customer information and product details. There is no conditional formatting or any fancy formulas except for this platform field. Changing this field will also change the terms and conditions at the bottom of the invoice, which is from the data we just saw in the data tab. After you have done editing the invoice and hit print, you will see the logo pop up in the print preview, which we did not see while editing. This is because the logo is in the header of the document. But no worries, the final version of the file that I released will not have this logo in it. The instructions for adding or changing the logos are located at the Invoice Auto tab. To edit the logo with Office 365, you will need to go to the Page Layout, expand the settings for Page Setup, go to the Header Footer tab, click on the Custom Header button. Select the right section, click the Insert Picture button and hit Replace. Choose your logo PNG file and you are good to go. Should you need to modify the size of the logo, the settings are over the Format Picture button. For Excel Online, unfortunately, there is no header footer options available. If you only have access to Excel Online, you may need to insert a picture of your logo and place it manually. Google Sheets are much convenient for adding and changing logo. First, we select the cell F2 to G6, then hit Insert, Image, Insert an image in the cell. Upload your logo file and all other invoices below it will be changed as they are referring to the first logo cell. After we are done with the logo, next is where things are getting interesting. But before we start making invoices, we need to download the order report from the Seller Center. In the Shopee Seller Center, click on My Orders. Select your desired order status filter. 
If the customer left you a note to have an invoice before you ship out, choose the To Ship tab. If the customer requests an invoice after receiving the items, choose the Shipping or Completed tab. Next, select the dates and click Export to download the report spreadsheet. Open up the report. Hit Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy entire report range. Then go back to our template and open the Order Report tab. Make sure there is no data here. Right click on the cell A1, paste the data together with formatting. After the order report is obtained, we should have our order IDs list in the data tab. Back to the invoice auto tab. These grey columns are labeled with at this, this section only. This section is more like a user interface for this template. And as usual, white cells are all editable, shaded cells are all formulas. At the top, we specify the number of invoices to print. Below it, we can input the invoice number and select the corresponding order IDs from Shopee. The left side is where we have our inputs. Then the formulas will generate the invoice numbers and the order IDs on the right. There are dynamic drop-down lists for the users to choose the corresponding order IDs. If you choose to print 5 invoices and only input the first invoice number and order ID, the other 4 invoice numbers are generated in sequential manner and the order IDs are picked according to the sorting back in the data tab. Fun fact, I played a little with formulas over the auto order IDs list. If you skip rows for order IDs input, it will also skip blank rows so that when we print our invoices, it won't be separated by blank invoices. I believe most of the time you will only need to print one invoice at a time. For printing, if customers request a physical copy, we can print it out and strip it together with the puzzle. If they are accepting digital copies, we can print it and save as PDF. Then email or WhatsApp the file to the customer. I have set the print area to only the columns of the invoices, so that this interface section is not printed. In this Office 365 version, if you choose to print one invoice, the other four will be cleared with conditional formatting but it is still showing up in the print preview as blank page. In this case, you can choose to print page 1 only. As the print area is already set, Excel Online will have the same operations as Office 365. Just select the pages to print and done. However, in Google Sheets, we have slightly different steps for printing. If you are printing 5 invoices at once, click to hide the interface section and hit print. Or you may also select the area you want to print and choose selected cells in the print dialog. That is all for today's video. I hope this template helped you in one way or another. If you would like to learn more about other modules in this template, check out the playlist at the top right corner or through the links in the video description. If you like this video and the template, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make templates to help you in your e-commerce business. See you in the next video.